Okay, some of the things we wanted to show you here is a couple uh, cable management devices. And of course, this, these relay racks, you can put your uh, switches and routers, obviously put your switches in here and your patch panels in here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your patch cords and you're gonna feed them through the different devices here to get to the layer where you wanna go. Now, uh, these little fingers here, uh, uh, what happens is that allows you to put a cable through and it still keeps it nice and neat and you put all your excess cable in here. Um, this one just doesn't have a cap on it. I just haven't put the cap on it. It took it off a second ago, but the caps just snap right off. You just keep on pushing down on these little ears and it comes right off. You put your, your cable in there where you need it to go, however you need to, to route it. Um, and when it's time to put these back on, they just snap back on, just like that. And it's a nice thing, it keeps it nice and neat and everything else. Um, this is a double-sided uh, patch, double-sided wire management. And it's a, uh, a vertical wire management. If you notice, it goes all the way down. And a lot of times what people do with these is they put another data rack. What people do with, with these is they put another relay rack next to it so they can go in here, come down, and go out. Okay, so here's just a, your standard patch cords, you know, and uh, of course you would have your switch in here, possibly a router uh, in here, uh, also your patch panels in here. So, of course you don't want, you know, I, I've seen it, and I, man, we have put in beautiful cabling jobs only to see people with the cords hanging down like this. And once you get like a hundred of them there, it's like a, a big old piece of fat and it's it's pulling on all the cords and of course the shortest cord gets the hardest pull and then all of a sudden a month later we start to have intermittent problems and all so you really need to use your your cable management these things are fantastic they're very flexible um, and it, it really takes the weight off the cable because it's holding it up and it's nice and neat and neatness counts in cabling so this is what you want but here's a demonstration uh, I'm going to take this lid off, and remember, again, you just, you just pull on it, and as you pull on it, and you push each one, or a couple of them, it just kind of snaps right off. Comes completely off. It's a nice cover. So let's say you have a, a patch panel right here. What you would do is you would slide this in here. You would take it all the way across. You would take it in there. And of course you can take it over to your other relay rack if you had another relay rack. But let's say you, have, you want to take it up here. So you leave all your slack in here. There's plenty of room for the slack. So you just leave it here. Leave it narrow and you put your lids on. And then what you do is you, you just push it through. You grab that. push it through, and then of course you would plug it into your uh, switch. So when you put these lids back on, and of course we have multiple lids uh, for these, but when you put your lids back on, I'm not going to do the whole thing, you wait till you're all done. Everything is hidden behind these, these panels, so it looks really professional, looks neat. You don't have all that weight hanging down. I've seen it to where it just not only hung down sometimes, but it came out all the way on the floor. And it looks very unprofessional. It's hard troubleshooting. You're going to have intermittent problems. Don't do it uh, any other way. Use your management. Now I have a special cable management device here called Neat Patch. And the nice thing about this is it has some depth to it. So you can put your excess cable back there. And let me show you how that works. Okay, so here's a, uh, a patch cord, and you know, if you normally just plug in, your patch cord is going to be hanging down like this and everything else. You don't want that. So what you want to do is, you want to plug in wherever that plug is up there, and then you shove in your excess, and that's your, your let's say your switch is up there, then your patch panel is down here, and all that excess disappears into the back of it. Also what's nice too, is if you need to take the cable out the back, these little panels pop off. Do they pop off? Okay. 
And as you can see, you can take your cord out of one of these and take it down to maybe another neat patch you have somewhere else in the patch panel. But the nice thing is when you're all done, the end of the day and everything else, you put your, your cover on and it's nice and neat. As it says, neat patch makes it nice and neat. And you don't have that weight of these cables. So unprofessional, by the way, when I see people do that, just hang cable after cable after cable after cable. And pretty soon you have, you know, I don't know, 25, 50 pounds on uh, the shortest cable pulling on that all the time. And that's going to give you trouble. Again, my name is Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com. My name is John. I'm with CableSupply.com. Make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on YouTube. Thanks again, guys. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. And today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in to this YouTube installment of CableSupply.com.